We are officially one power deck closer to the launch of Power World. Now, I'll be honest with you, there is going to be a lot of spam hitting YouTube coming from me because it's go time with Power World. And I've got a lot of these power decks to cover and I want to keep the hype going for Power World as much as possible. Not that it really needs it. It is the ninth most wish listed game on the whole of Steam. And of course, it's coming to Game Pass and all that kind of thing on January the 19th. But if you haven't got Power World on your Steam wish list yet, please do. There's a link in the top of the description. And a quick reminder, I will be showing you Power World early on January the 16th. But for now, let's get into another Pow deck. Now, in the last Pow deck, we checked out Gobfin, one of my favorites when it comes to the design. They're certainly one of the most unique Pals in my opinion. But this time we are moving on to Pow deck number 14, whatever this thing is called. Ike the Deer. I, I don't know. But either way, will it take the top spot in my rankings? Anubis is currently at the top. Well, let's find out by doing what we always do here. Let's watch the trailer all the way through. Then we're going to break it down scene by scene. So let's do this. Oh, he's a speedy boy. I don't know what you're called. Hit the roll, hit the shotty. Oh, the shotgun's got a proper good spread on it. Gobfin going with that water splash. Oh, this one. This one seems very fast paced. Boom, boom. Why am I, why are you in his head? Oh, he's got a hell of a charge on him. He's got a hell of a charge. Oh my God, Incineram does batter though. Oh, he's got a range, a couple of range attacks there. We go for the capture. Boom. Give him a pet, whatever your name is. Look at the charge, boom, boom, boom. Just mowing them down. Oh, and we got an interesting look at some stuff there. What's going on in the background? All right, now I need to catch my breath after that one. Now he is a very cool looking pal and he seems to have a great range of attacks. But now let's go and break it down scene by scene just to make sure we didn't miss anything. So coming in here, absolutely speeding. Boom, boom. The shotgun looks a lot of fun. It looks a bit weak but still fun to use on the back of the univault there he hasn't really done an attack yet but this is the bit that looked really weird when i was when he was doing this attack here what's he trying to do there was he trying to do a range attack but he got distracted then he's got a kind of a mud throw or something let's see that again there's like a mud ball look at that dodge though you see that like instant side jump watch Woof. Jumped out of the way. Then hits a second type of range attack. Ready? Throws the mud. Throws like a lightning ball or something. Gets himself captured. And then we come in with a charge here. Hit some Jolt Hogs. Hit some Cativas. All right. Now, it didn't seem like we missed anything, but I will go and double check that. But for now, let's take a look at what we have here. So we got this machine here, which I think this is the same machine as we've seen before. This is just a different angle of it. We then got one of the automation machines here. Is that attached? I don't really know. They're currently building it right here. Relaxaurus is watering the crops at the back. Everyone else is having a nap. Incineram is building, being a good boy. But look at these funky buildings at the back. That looks like a pretty wild part of the map. They've got some floating rocks up the top crazy but i didn't see anything that we particularly missed so i'm just gonna skim back through make sure i didn't miss anything wait 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 check this out when we're on this univolt's back ready when we're on the back here we pull out the assault rifle the bullets seem to be electric are we getting power from the univolt that's kind of crazy this though what is happening Why are we in his head? Okay, so we didn't seem to really miss anything. That just seemed to be focusing on range of attacks more than anything. But let's see who we got up next. Oh, the most iconic pal, Grizzbolt. So that was an incredible PAL deck just because of the variety that we've seen going on there. We've seen a bunch of attacks from some of the PAL decks we've already seen, but then we've also seen a bunch from whatever it's called. Eek, eek the deer. What? I don't know. It actually hurts my brain trying to read that. But a great PAL deck doesn't take that top spot. There was nothing really like secretive in there, nothing hidden in the background. Great look at the map, I suppose. But other than that, just a good look at the range 
range of attacks from each of the pals. But that is another pal deck covered. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please do drop a like and subscribe. Join the Kans Gang Discord. All the links are down below. Now, as I said, there's going to be a lot of spam coming your way from myself to YouTube. The only reason for that is because I am going to be putting out everything to do with Pal World. So I'm going to be putting out multiple Pal decks per day. I've already got episodes ready to go for January the 16th. And of course, I'll be live on the 16th. And then I'll be covering everything from the 19th onwards as well. So expect that when you go onto YouTube every day, you click that subscriptions, you're just going to see me. There's going to be no one else in there, just me. So please don't unsubscribe. I'm just grinding, getting the Pal Deck information out. But regardless, I appreciate all your support across all these videos. But that's another one from me. I'm on to the next. Peace.